All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some standard mono red. Kind of the same thing mono red that normally is, but I'm going to give Chain Whirler a try. Um, the card has just wildly impressed me recently, so now I'm excited to give it a whirl. Kind of jumping back on here after I had a great stream this morning. I've had one of my better streams I've had. I averaged about 100 viewers, which was just absolutely great stream. Probably the best one I've had in a little while. I just had a really good time. I'm really excited to try this, this Chain Whirler here. Like, I was playing my Red Green Monsters deck a little while ago, and I went up to play Mono Red, and I was like, okay, you know, what's kind of like my game plan for Mono Red in game one? And I'm like, it's probably just hide behind Chain Whirler, or hide behind Rekindling Phoenix. This, this Chain Whirler absolutely bodied my Rekindling Phoenix. Like, I had First Strike, so I couldn't deal with it. With Soul Scar Mage, it gives everything minus one, minus one counters, which is really cool. It plays really well with, like, Kari Zev because they block the token because they think it's free, and then they just snipe it right after combat. You know, if my music is too loud. But it's taking a hot minute for... There we go. You're just going to complain and you'll be all set. I would like to play first. This hand's okay. I don't think it's super great, but we'll start off with the Soul Scar Mage. And then probably just play a land and pass. Alright, we're really going to kill that. It's convenient that we have our Scavenger Grounds in our hand. Good thing I almost played my Scavenger Grounds there. That means we wouldn't be able to play the Chain Whirler. I got rid of a couple of the deserts to be able to support the Chain Whirler. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play, even though I don't get any value out of it, I am just going to play it out here because I just want to empty my hand so that this Hazard gets in. Kind of a clunky Hazard draw, but such as life deals one damage to each opponent and each plane blocker. So, so, this card's so sweet. This card's just 100% muff, I think. I think it's, I think it's, I think it, it and Karn, this and Karn, I think are the best cards in the set. Or at least that I've seen. Trophy Mage and Vizier. Okay. I think I'm willing to trade this Soul Scar Mage for this champion if that is the block that my opponent wants to make. Now we're going to get this Hazard into play. And then just get ready to pitch cards starting next turn. Probably play a land, play the Scavenger Grounds, pitch a card. Oh no, I'm a, yeah, I'm not pitching the Scavenger Grounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a really good draw. Play that. Play this. Just attack with the team. And then we can either chuck a card with Hazret or. Oh, we're tweaking out. Yeah. Okay, so against this deck. Probably my removal is not super great if I had to assume. I think I need the Abrades. Probably the Abrades and the Magma Sprays are just better than... Oh, my T's almost ready, so I'm going to sideboard here. Probably these cards here are just much better 
than my current removal. So now it's just like which one? Probably the Rekindling Phoenix is also good as it flies. So if I sideboard like this, and then I'll probably bring in one Aethersphere Harvester because it attacks in the air. No, actually, being Kieran Alar can make it, to, make it harder for them to block. Do something like this. Maybe I can cut a Soul Scar Mage and then bring in another PNK. PNK can just mess with blocks. So I'm gonna go fix my, get my tea ready well. In between, we're gonna go get the tea ready. I'll be right back. That's a good hand, we'll keep this hand. Probably start off with the Soul Scar Mage. Hopefully we find like a two mana spell so that if or something to fill our curve a little bit. Island to island or no, huh. Alright, well we're gonna play this. It's kind of cool here with how like this gives it minus one, minus one counters, which is not relevant when they have a card like Champion of Wits. So maybe it's actually worth holding this back because if they play Champion of Wits next turn, I can nug it and then they draw only one card and discard a card. I don't think the one damage is relevant. I think hurting a Champion of Wits can be pretty relevant, so we're going to give that a whirl. Trigger on. This is giving it a minus one, minus one. So yeah, so it's power. They should only deals one damage, draws a card. Yep. So then they discard two. So they lose card advantage there. Which, I mean, that deck doesn't, this deck doesn't really care about that, but. Um, yeah, they're just going to cast it. Now, I would like to get Hazret in play next turn, I think. <coughs> Swallowing Suns, okay. Man, Moto's already slowing down for me. I don't want to. I don't really want to break this. I think I'm just gonna play the Rekindling Phoenix. Just threatens the most damage. Next turn, and then I like next. If I have to next turn, I can go like a Braid into Bowmat Courier. Just a double spell. My opponent's only got two more cards. They've only got one, two, three. <coughs> three, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can actually just play and crack it now? Oh my gosh. That was, that was one hell of a hit from our opponent. That sucks. 
So at least we're going to be able to abrade this. Don't bring back the Padim. That's really bad. Our artifacts have hexproof. Now we're now it's gonna be tough to win. I do think I'm gonna play out this courier and this soul scar mage and try to figure something out. I wonder if I have to kill this now. I don't think I have to. He's probably gonna bring back Champion of Wits. And then if he brings back Champion of Wits, I can upgrade it. Which will shrink it, which means that like he'll have to he'll only draw one card and discard two again. Draws a card. This Padini. There's a pretty savage hit off this minister. One, two, three, four, five. Walking list of three. That's alright. List that is hexproof too. This just makes this a 1-1. One, one. This is just to make it so that... Just to make it so they don't go nuts with this champion. Now it's just Hazret time. Like, if we're going to win this game, it's going to be because of Hazret. Wonder if he's going to pop any of my cards here. Like, he minus hit this, minus two hit this. He should have done that in my draw spell, but it doesn't really matter. This means they're not hitting my Rekindling Phoenix, which is great. But he's going to be able to bring it back next turn and put a counter on it. Just going to go to town with his Hazret. The thing is, he's got just infinite chump blockers. Like, he can... For this Hazret. I mean, at least we're going to be clocking him for six a turn. But it's going to be tough to break through here, I think. The Whirler's a big draw. Brings back Whirler, probably. The thing is that we can just... We might be able to just wait him out. Like, maybe I shouldn't be attacking. I should just be playing defense with Hazret. Because chump blocking is like whatever for him. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's a good play for the opponent. Well, I guess, yeah, well, it doesn't really matter too much. So I can make him chump with this Whirler at least. That's gotta happen. He chumps away his board. And then he's in the same situation next turn. But like, I need to draw a Scavenger Grounds. If I draw Scavenger Grounds, I've got like a shot. I think this is a this is a this is like a time when I wish I had on crop crasher because I would just like crash in here, attack. This can't block. They block here and die. I wonder what they're waiting on. They're wondering if they should just sack their Beaumont courier, probably. Nope. Okay.
That's a really good draw. Because now we have a lot of pressure in the air. My Bobo is just dead in the air next turn. So they bring something back. We block this. Yeah, we're good. He's got a chump chump. Yeah. <clears throat> now he kind of like has to get Walking Ballista probably. Unless he if new rivulets into... I don't know. If he rivulets into Combat Celebrant. Yeah, that's probably going to shut the door on us. It's gonna be tough to beat two separate um, combat cell or two like KT athlete triggers, because he gets like he gets combat cell and then he gets vizier, so he's effectively got four, he got three combat rolled up. But I'm gonna block this. Yeah, so you can't really. Make it so the Vizier doesn't copy it. Now he's gonna get like Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista put a counter, shoot this. That is our opponent's out, I think. Bowman Courier. I think that was an, I think that was a, a mistake from our opponent. What do we got? We got... Yeah, I'm just gonna... This is only one damage. But he's got a walking ballista in his hand. So I think I'm just gonna block. Because... Two, four, six... I guess ballista... But ballista doesn't even do it. Unless he goes ballista block. So if you got... He must have walking ballista. That's what, that's what he had to have drawn. Must have drawn a ballista. Nope. Champion. Champion doesn't do anything. No, we got there. Oh, we didn't quite get there. Because this is... Well, that'll do it. Well, it actually will. Oh my god, this Chain Whirler is so good. Get that out of here. And then we just get in. God, the Chain Whirler is insane. I'm gonna put this sponsor page up here and then just restart. I don't understand why Moto. I guess I forgot to sh turn Moto off. Yeah, I forgot to take. I forgot to uh, turn Moto off. So I should restart Moto at least. up here i appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out i had a bomb ass stream this morning i have really liked i don't know i think i just really like standard like that's that's one of the goals there i want i want to play more standard because like while i love playing death shadow death shadow can get a little boring here once in a while and then like i don't necessarily like playing other fair decks in modern because you just get like such 80 20 dumpstered by so many decks that it's not really that much fun but yeah uh it's five viewers now so everybody's just kind of hanging out um you should check out the uh check out uh my page you know give it a like if that's what you appreciate then uh, look at these two companies here that sponsor me
get back into the games. Whoa. Oh, there's the Moto League. Pull the deck up here. Twitch just got this new like analytics thing. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, this Chain Whirler already won us a game. This Chain Whirler is sick. I think the Chain Whirler, I think Chain Whirler and Karn are where it's at. I want I want to stream a little bit more. Yeah, I think the Chain. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Midnight. I'm pretty sure this Chain Whirler is going to kick all of our asses for a while. Um, I saw somebody said hi in the chat. Hi to you. I hope you're having a good night. I hope you're having a good night. I hope you're all having a good night. God, the Moto Leagues are so slow. Come on. I wonder, there's probably a way that I could fit, like I could cut like one of these, one of these, and maybe something else. Maybe maybe four chain whirlers is wrong to fit some on crop crashers in here. Maybe like three and three is the best way to do it. Oh man, my opponent's two and two. We're gonna have to beat them. They're not gonna cash their lead because of us. Uh this is a mulligan, I think. Gross. One hard part about Chain Whirler. Right on time. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the first hand, I don't know. Yep. Well, we're gonna keep playing Magic. The hard part here is that even if I... I guess I should have lightning strike that. That was stupid. I thought about getting my dude into play. <clears throat> Probably should have lightning strike this land of elves. The thing is, even if we top deck a land next turn, we're not doing anything. Unless my opponent gives us something to strike. I don't really want to strike a land of elf on my third turn. We got ourselves a Jun deck here. A little Jun energy. That's bad. All right, well, at least we can get into this Chandra a little bit. This Chain Whirler hits Planeswalkers, right? Yeah. Yep. So this hits this hits opponents and planeswalkers. This is little, you know, gets a little boost from the new rule. Going up with mana. PNLR. Yeah, we're super dead. We're good here. That's just like too much of a board. Okay. So, probably want these cards here. Cards that I want to cut. I kind of want to cut some lightning strikes if I'm on the play. 
Because, like, I'm bringing, like, this is removal. And I'm on the play, so I kind of want to be aggressive. Kari Zev's good. Fanatical Firebrand's good. Soul Scar Mage probably isn't that good if I'm boarding out. And maybe I want to get in some of these also. Probably can cut some Soul Scar Mages if I'm cutting down on my... Um, but that three drop slot gets big. You know, we're going to bring in a defeat. I bet there's Glory Bringers in this deck. What a weird mana curve. Probably sideboard much differently on the draw. The draw bring in, bring back in more removal. I don't have no idea how to sideboard with this deck. All right. I'm gonna lead off on the Soulscar Mage. Get in there. I'm gonna play this because now, now if they play like a serve in the conduit, I can go shock into fanatical firebrand, just have a better attack. Okay. So that thing can't attack anyways. So I think we're just gonna go right by it. Come in for six here. I need to draw a run and run into lands. So next turn attack for six. I go to seven. I'm one off of killing them. I think I just do this now. Pumps my Soul Scar Mage, which makes it so these are lightning bolts. And then if I draw a land next turn, that I can just play Hazret. Okay, there's a servant. Land off the top. Tail. No land. Okay. If we go on whatever. If we draw a land, we're still doing it. this come in one time, one more time. Play this and pass. Now we can block this thing with the Kari Zev and then shoot it with the Fanatical Firebrand. Maybe it was aggressive burning those shocks, but like, I wanted to have my hand empty, so if I drew a Hazret, oh, that's really bad. Now this game, now we're probably out of it. P and K too. How do I win? My lightning strikes are in my sideboard. They can crew here. They can just crew and pump. Yeah, we're super because of the PM we're super dead. Because I mean, we're gonna play it out, but. Gotta kill the Pia because he just cruise. And now I've got, and I can't really attack because he'll just gain a bunch of life with this. This is unfortunate. 
unfortunate turn of events here. I'm taking my PO's gas. Because if they didn't have this Pia, I probably would just play Hazard and start crashing with it. But as it stands now, I'm going to have to do some chump blocking. But if my opponent gets a little too, I guess, overzealous, then I can kill that. Well, no, because they're going to attack with this and then gain life. So I actually can kill them. Unless they get really ballsy. Like, crew attack with everything. Three. That's not even lethal. I'm gonna kill my Chandra. Alright, I think that's good for the home team. Yeah, I think it's just Hazard attack for the rest of the game. And I like, hope that does enough. Don't have Veracity's Contempt. It's gonna make this Aether Sphere Harvester harder to crew. Bring the Scrappy back, okay. Crew, block, take six. I probably have to chump chump. Unless there's a way. Seven. Because this is seven points of power. They're not even, okay. If I attack with this, I they double block here, I kill this, I get him for two, five. And then I hope they don't draw a creature basically. Right? Because if I attack with both of these, they double block here. I kill this. Two gets in. Five gets in. They gain more life, but they go to one. And then the Soul Scar Mage stays back and chumps whatever creature that he doesn't crew this with. And I have to kill the Thopter when he goes to double block this, assuming that's what he does. Just chumps the hazard, okay. Interesting. I guess he's got enough energy where he's like, I can, I can just wait you out, but I'm just gonna chump block this scrap heap scrounger. <coughs> I guess I didn't think about it. I should have had a braid in here for this thing. Wow. That's interesting. So what's my best draw? I need like a chain whirler here. Bowmat, what does Bowmat do? Shoot. Take two, block. Do I need to attack with this Bowman Courier? Let me think. So. I need another spell because I need to figure out how to kill this thing. 
because this block's here. They take three, four, seven, three, four, five, seven. I'm one point off. Unless I find a shot. Oh, I should have played this land, I think. I think I should have played the land. So, two. I have to kill the blocker. Definitely should have played the land. Ooh, no, that doesn't do anything because I didn't play the fucking land. That sucks. If I had played the land, I'd have had it. I might not have had him, but it would at least be in it. If I'd have played, that was just a mistake on my part, thinking that that sucks. If I'd have played the land, I could have played P and K. Good games, good games. Is that the match? Yeah. Good games, opponent. Just needed needed to play. If I had sequenced that right, I think I'd have won that match, that, that game at least. Which is like, you don't know, I guess I don't know to do that thing because I haven't played very much Mono Red. And to be fair, that was only my, that would have been my second out of two uh, P and Kieran Alars in the deck. Or P, uh, P and Alars. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, sounds good. We're gonna lead on the Soul Scar Mage, and then I'm gonna play probably Firebrand and Bomat Courier. I still think I'm gonna do. Little Karn vehicles here. I think Karn is very good in this deck. I think this is a very, very good Karn deck. Okay. I'm just gonna play the Kenra this turn, because next turn I can go just triple one drop. Just have my so my hand is just empty. This is an Ether Sphere Harvester. That sucks. That's not good. Ooh, they're attacking. Holy shit. That's PNLR. Man, PNLR is so good at this deck. PNLR is just great. It's a card that doesn't look good on the surface, but man, is it good. So they're cracking in here for six. I think I just lightning strike this, attack here. Firebrand this. And then see what happens. Get another card under Bowman Courier. The question is, when do I want to use this bow my career? I'll wait until at least combat or something. I should have done it right now, because now they can use this to crew. That was a mistake on my part. Go play a Karn. Oh, it's a Karn. No. I should do this, because I'm going to. Anyways. Oh, they didn't crew their thing with it. Okay. 
Maybe they're going to play defense. I think I'm definitely going to sack this Bowman Curry at the end of the turn. I think we are in the market for... We're definitely in the market for like a hazard or something like that. Or a chain whirler would be very good here. Actually, let's do this right now because we have shocks we could draw. Nope. Phoenix should be okay. Ooh. This puts minus one, minus one counters on all this stuff. So just like mini rats is bored. Okay. All right. Well, just deals damage to this now. So we're dead to like an unlicensed disintegration off the top. But besides that, we're in good shape. Because we're going to play this for Kindling Phoenix. It's going to block this Ether Sphere Harvester for days. Motor ran. I'm just going to keep attacking with this Kenra more than likely. Go in bottom. Bottom. Sweet. Interesting. Oh man, that gets plus power. Oh, well, actually, sack an artifact. Okay. So, what can I attack with? I can attack with this. I can attack with a chain whacker and be okay. I'll hold back the Kenra to block. That's a card I don't mind in the graveyard anyways. Now we're dead to like an artifact. Because they just play the artifact, throw it at this phoenix, and then the phoenix can't block. Alright, step one. They're very tight games. Oh, he just does this. Oh, okay, we're dead anyways. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. I always, I was so fixated on the, the Harvester attacking. Yeah, that was dumb. I was like, oh man, the Harvester's coming in no matter what, I can do this, but turns out I couldn't. All right, so I want my own Harvesters. I want an Abrade. I think I want Magma Spray. I don't think I want Lightning Strike. The Rekindling Phoenix seems good. PNLR seems good. Cards that don't seem great. Earthshaker Kenra doesn't seem great either. Let me see what this looks like. We might have to board out some Soul Scar Mages. We probably can cut one Chain Whirler. Magma Spray is just for... Yeah, that's fine. Though we have oh, so many ways to deal with the X-1s, then maybe we want... I probably can just shave across the board here. Again, I don't really know how to sideboard with this deck. I'm just kind of playing it by feel. I know I want some of these cards, so we're gonna give it a whirl there. I'm sure that we, we tossed, we surely tossed that last game there. The margins are so small with this deck. play first. All right, that's a good hand. We'll keep this. Start with the Soul Scar Mage, and then we can go. We just need to draw lands. If we draw, if we draw lands for the rest of the game, we're in good shape. If we don't draw lands for the rest of the game, I don't think we're gonna win. Right. That's a good card off the top. Something. 
That's unfortunate. I can't kill that. Land? Okay. <coughs> Though, with how it works, with how the Soul Scar Mage works, it's, I'm going to be able to interact with it probably pretty favorably in combat. Oh, I forgot that was a prowess trigger. See all these little things that you just miss? When I just, it's just a deck that I haven't played. Alright, so here comes... This is obviously a Murder Blaze. So I don't even think I'm going to attack with this Soul Scar Mage. We're just going to play Kari Zav. And then probably just shock my opponent at the end of the turn. I really want to get some of these cards out of my hand. I gotta be worried about like settle the wreckage. Okay. Magma spray unlock. So now I'm gonna get in with my um my ethosphere harvester for sure. I really hope I get the opportunity to like abrade and shock something so if I draw a land hazards live off the top. Let's gain life. Comes in a braid. Cast down. That's cool. That's a cool card for the opponent to have. Definitely, we're just gonna blow this thing up. Destroy target artifact. And then I'm definitely, I'm just gonna shock them. Because we're looking for a land off the top here. It's not a land. Oh no, the firebrand has haste. See, all these little things, they add up. I'm just going too fast. So we're gonna play it out here. My opponent's got five cards, so it's going to be tough for them to turn on their Hazaret. Harvester. Harvester's a good sub substitute for it. The nice thing is, is that the because of how the um, Fanatical Firebrand interacts with this Harvester, that it's not going to gain as much life. What am I attacking with? If I attack with this, first strike this down, this doesn't do anything. Probably don't attack with this Soul Scar Mage because we want to use the ability. Go just like this. See how my opponent attack or I block. This in front of Hazard. Now this here. So this is them gaining two life. You gain three life. Go to eleven. Gonna get rid of this nerd ape. Oh, that doesn't even do it. Oh god, I'm just all over the place right now. I'm just playing a foreign deck to me, and it's it's just showing that I'm just playing like a complete asshole. Because now they're gonna be able to gain enough life off of this where it might be relevant. Wow, they're going in with this. Okay. So they have like a cast out. That's the only card that's gonna make sense here. Because how how are they checking this has?
But we're probably going to win even though we've made some mistakes because of just how powerful this card is. But... Because this is going to chump the, ha the uh, Hazard for sure. But the Hazard's going to chump. This Inventor's Apprentice has to chump the Hazard. Then hopefully we don't toss over oh, we got here. So this is like a cast out, I'm probably dead. Don't be a cast out. Murder Blaze might turn this game around. Alright. They dropped the three cards. Alright, that's gonna turn Hazard on probably. Oh wow, Hazard's on block maybe. Okay. This game's gonna get weird. It's gonna be like the first person to draw in a braid's gonna win. But I guess like I'm ahead on the damage thing and I can double block their harvester. Which has it. <coughs> interesting game. Very interesting game. That's got to do a lot, right? That just kills them because they're at seven. Unless they have a removal spell for one of my creatures here. Because we'll just crew with this. Hold back with our Hazaret. Okay, so now choose target creature. Pay one, sacrifice an artifact. This can't block. That PNLR was disgusting. All right, so let's see if I can not like completely muff this game up this time. Okay, so I want to be a little, I think I want a little bit more removal on the draw. PNLR was really good. Get ready to play just a little bit of a longer game. I think the shocks are better than the lightning strikes. Yeah, I'll try this. I have not played this red deck very much, but every time I've played it, I've had like so much fun. Next turn. Now there's a trick where you can hold priority to activate the these cards here. God, the PM is so good. Though I am gonna if I draw the land here, this chain whirler should also be really good. Didn't draw land. Alright, 
and I'm just gonna attack. I'm not gonna like hold a mana up to get rid of a um to get rid of like this many cards in my hand, especially when they're all really good. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna chain whirler. Come on. Draw land. Give me a land. That's not bad. It's gonna cost my opponent a life point to take this, bring this back. So I think it's worth just hitting this. It's gonna just save me some life points, increase the race a little bit. Because to activate that scribe, they don't have any natural black mana because of the spire. Okay, so now they've got one shot at black mana. <coughs> We're getting very close into like, yeah, okay, that's game over. That's just, they seven us right here. Yeah, this thing's, this hazard's just gonna kill us. Get in there for one. Sack this Bomac Courier. Block this, take three. Dead in two attacks to their Hazard, probably. Dead to removals, dead to a lot of, dead to a lot of stuff here. Murder Blaze kills us. Creature is yeah, that's just that's game. We just missed our second land drop. Our hand was our hand was good, I thought. I thought we had the tools to, to go long, but turns out that wasn't the case. Alright. I really like this chain whirler. Big fan of this chain roller. We all know land heater. It's a lot of lands heater. I'm not our one land heater. Alright, we're gonna start getting in with this bow mat courier. At least we're gonna be able to get both of these bow mats going. Actually, we're just gonna smoke there, land or elf, and then get in. Spirebrands, all these little ping cards are really good. No missing on lands was not good. Maybe we need more lands in this deck. I like this. This is my favorite. I love this art. I wish the border wasn't white, but I like this art a lot. We're just chilling out there. Flavor text is sweet. Land will cover a million square miles, yet nobody enters a forest without them knowing. The flavor text is sweet. I'm going to feed the puppy after this. Guy. Oh, this is going as planned. If we draw a land, we have to go double wall map, which will be sweet. Definitely a little bit of trouble.
Oh my god, we can't beat that card. Unless we draw a land next turn. If we draw a land next turn, we can beat that card. But that's the only way. Play more of this card. Play more like Fabricate 2. Come on. One time, land. Land one time. <sighs> Alright, we have one more turn. One more turn we can hit. We can't, we're not, once they put a plus one, plus one counter on all this, we're in a lot of trouble. But if we can get a land, we're in good shape. You know, land, we get the old two for one. Kind of a three for one, because this doesn't do anything. Though they have a million mana, so. This could be like rest in peace here. Which sucks, we were so close. But we weren't that close, I guess. Like my, my hand was pretty good, but on the mulligan, we just needed a land and it never came. Hopefully they don't have some big ugly payoff here. Right, growing rights of Iglamach. So they're going to get a million mana. They missed on the growing rights. Though, man, out oh, comes. Play more of the Fabricate, dude. Come on, come on. Four mana. Ballista. Alright, we're still in good shape as long as we hit like this turn. They can put a million counters on this ballista though, put two more counters to get both of these ball mats. All right, yeah, we're good, we're good now, because they're gonna put counters on this and then we're dead. Man, that's unfortunate. I think we, de there it was. I think we definitely need another land in this deck. Speaking of like a go wide deck, I don't think our removal is very good. PNLR makes a flying blocker, a flying creature, which is kind of what I'm into. Like I basically just want to hit, yeah, we'll leave this much removal in. I basically just want removal for the turn one elf, and then after that I just want to play dudes. We're gonna keep this because as long as we draw like a spell for the rest of the like we're, we're gonna be on track for like maybe not a turn four hazard but like a turn five a turn four play hazard turn five attack we're not gonna have like the nut here but it's still something all right try to hopefully sand maybe sandbag this chain whirler so at least they do something with this So I can block with everything. That doesn't really do it. Yeah, I think with all these hazards, we just gotta like, get out in the battlefield. The next time we're gonna land hazard, then we'll ditch some hazards. Hopefully we have a spell we can cast next turn. This 3-3 first striker is good though. Let's go on the battlefield. I feel like my deck's been off a couple cards with this Chain Whirler. Alright, I'll move on to the Chain Whirler. So 
So he goes block. He needs to put three creatures in front of this, and we're gonna, he needs to put everything in front of this in order to kill it. So and we're gonna get one of the cards at least. But I think I just want to be aggressive. So I'm just I'm just basically just gonna throw this away for one of these two. So I don't think we need to be that aggressive. I don't think we're at the point yet where we need to force that much damage. So our best draw next turn is a two mana card. So I can play Hazard this turn, ditch a ditch a Hazard, play a land, and then play a two mana card like an Earthshaker kind of. Yes, that's what we're looking for. This appears to be a bad matchup, but a go wide red deck does not seem good for the home team. Mm -hmm. Any of your instead, you control four more creatures. Okay, you got four creatures. So I could have attacked last turn. There's no way they'd block. Both my creatures at first strike. Oh, because I would just kill one of them. You're right. I knew this card did. All right, that's actually a pretty good draw. So now I just toss one of these. Play the Firebrand. Probably hold the Firebrand back. Yeah, you're right, Delray. How are you, Delray? I heard you, uh, heard you graduated. Can they make this? One, two, three, four. They can't make the big servo token yet. We're probably just gonna shoot one of these anyways. If they're gonna make the little servo token. Whoa. Oh, these make mana too? All right, we'll let we'll go let him block. So he blocks this. He blocks any of these. This is gonna work out. I mean, I punt the game. He punts it right back to me. Oh, what is this? Green X. Oh, it's it's winged control. I thought it was like a checks card. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. I thought it like moved. Like all the rest of the cards in the set, like Karn's, Karn's Construct moves. So I was like, this has to move too. But that's that's not how that works. For being as far behind, we still might win this game. Well, no, they're going to continue making these massive constructs. But they're going to have to just keep tossing them under hazard. So I need another Goblin Chain Whirler. An online master degree? In what? You're an engineer of some kind, right? Now this checks this has, right? Which is not good. We need, if we can just draw like, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't think we have an out here. That sure as hell isn't it. Yeah, they got us here. All right. That was bad. That was very bad. Let's go back to the deck here. I think I'm just gonna like switch a card in here and then put another mountain in. Probably gonna stick with that for your masters. Nice, nice. Alright, let's me stop my YouTube.